Hi, this is Margot. This is Friday, April 20th, 2018, and I'm testing out live streaming. <clears throat> I am live streaming now, I think. So, um, if anyone could come into the chat room and let me know, that would be great. Um, I want to learn how to live stream better, so... I've only done it one time before on YouTube and I did it one time on Facebook so it looks like I am streaming live right now and my browser just crashed so let me restore that okay <clears throat> it's still streaming it looks like and I wanted to talk to everyone today about how crazy the world is getting and how it's really hard to keep your equilibrium and um, just kind of you know stay sane and peaceful with everything that's going on and um, it's it's really getting dark and crazy out there so I encourage people to just you know, remember just to take a deep breath and try not to worry too much. And all the stuff that's going on around us is a total distraction to keep us from connecting with God and from going within and making that divine connection. And that's the most important thing is that divine connection, whether you're aware of it or not. And we need peace, we need to be calm, we need to just step back and remove ourselves from the madness and the mayhem and the chaos and all the stuff that's going on. So I'm, I've been reading Psalms and uh, to myself, I've been reading Psalms and that has been very helpful to me so I thought today I would share some Psalms with everybody the book of Psalms and there are over a hundred Psalms there's a whole bunch of them and I thought I'd just start with the first one, chapter one and these were written by David I believe <clears throat> let's see what the history is I don't know if I have the history on this website uh, no I don't but I believe they were written by David anyway I have the screen of the Bible up here and you can read along with me or you can simply listen if that's what you want to do and Psalms 1 is, Blessed is the man that walks in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper the ungodly are not so but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous but the way of the ungodly shall perish and this relates to keeping holy company and I tell people all the time you know you really need to discern who you're going to be around who, who you're going to have as your friend friends and who you want to spend time with because 
if they're not holy company, then, you know, you're, you're really, um, walking the edge there, and you can be polluting yourself, so, I want to see if I have anyone in the chat room yet. No. <clears throat> no one's in the chat room. I'm just going to type in a welcome. No, I'm just doing this on the fly. <clears throat> I didn't schedule it, so I didn't expect a lot of people to come. I know people are working, and it's Friday afternoon and everything, but um, <clears throat> that's okay. We'll just keep moving forward. <clears throat> So I'm going to read Psalms 2 now. Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth them in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Psalms 3 this is a psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, his son. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there are, there be, which say of my soul, There is no help for him in God, Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I laid me down and slept, I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for Thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon Thy people. Selah. Psalms 4 To the chief mu musician on Neganoth, a psalm of David. 
Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe, and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will shew us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Okay, I'm going to check check the streaming again and see if there's anyone in the chat room. No, no one's in the chat room. That's okay. This will be archived and up for people to hear and I'm going to do more of these because I want to learn how to do live streaming and get a lot better at it. Psalms 5 To the chief musician upon Nehiloth a song of David Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King, and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For there art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy house, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepul sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their faith, their trust in thee, Rejoice, let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also, that love thy name, be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous, with favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. So again, this is just saying that if we 
keep our focus on God, that God will hear us, but we have to keep ourselves separate from our enemies and separate from the wicked and the unjust and the ones who lie and cheat and steal and who follow Satan and who f who revel in this this 3D matrix and in this world because this is not our world this is not our kingdom our kingdom is with God and it's when we leave here is when we'll be in that kingdom Psalm 6 to the chief musician on Neganoth upon Sheminoth a psalm of David O Lord rebuke me not in thine anger neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure have mercy upon me O Lord for I am weak O Lord heal me for my bones are vexed my soul is also sore vexed but thou O Lord how long return O Lord deliver my soul O save me for thy mercy's sake for in death there is no remembrance of thee in the grave who shall give thee thanks I am weary with my groaning all the night make I my bed to swim I water my couch with my tears mine eye is consumed because of grief it waxeth old because of all mine enemies depart from me all ye workers of iniquity for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping the Lord hath heard my supplication the Lord will receive my prayer let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed let them return and be ashamed suddenly so at this point you can tell that David is pretty fed up with this world and he just wants to be gone and uh, you know I think a lot of us feel the same way we're so tired of fighting the good fight and doing the right thing and you know everything and we're waiting and it's like how much longer God how much longer do we have to be here um, but we're here until we're not here we're here until it's time to go so I know I get weary too I get very weary so I'm back to we've been on for 20 minutes I think I'll read a couple more and then sign off. So that was Psalm 6 that we just finished. <coughs> Psalm 7 Shigayon of David which he sang unto the Lord concerning the words of Cush the Benjamite O Lord my God in thee do I put my trust save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me lest he tear my soul like a lion rending it in pieces while there is none to deliver O Lord my God if I have done this if there be iniquity in my hands if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me yea I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy 
Let the enemy persecute my soul, and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth, and lay mine honor in the dust, Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about. For their sakes therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to mine integrity that is in me. O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will whet his sword. He hath bent his bow, bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought, brought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mich mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. So I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. No one's in the chat room. That's okay. It's my second live stream. So, I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Margo. My website is Margo's Healing Corner. So, until next time, be safe. Go in peace. God bless. Goodbye.